today we're branding hives. Hello, I'm Griffey, so can we be in Here we talk everything, beekeeping, farming, countryside living, now we do reviews as well. Now today we are branding beehives with a hot iron. Now I'm actually using an electric one. Uh, I've been thinking most of my branding I'm actually going to do in the workshop here. And if you look around, lots of frames, lots of wax, lots of dust. Not exactly a safe place to have an open blow torch in here to heat. Um, a manual one, so I, so I thought, you know, I'd, I'd fork out, get the electric one, I can plug it in here and just do it uh, safely in the workshop here, not worry about lighting the whole place up. Now, before I get into branding, I have bought this from Hamilton Rand in the UK. I'll put all their description uh, details in the description of the video if you want to get your own one. So they actually make made my logo, uh, engraved that in the UK, that sort of brass. They've made it perfectly, very, very pleased with how they got the name, the little bee and even the stinger at the bottom. So top marks for that. They don't actually make the, 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 the brand itself. This is, they, they buy that in but they, uh, they do supply it. So I, I bought it, I bought the whole unit, everything from them. And I even had the, I bought the manual one. So if I did want to go outside and brand hives, I can use a blowtorch and just bolt that brass piece off just by there. And then it can screw into that. And then you could heat that up with a flame. But I'm in a workshop on an electric one uh, I thought would suit me best. Now, why go into the effort of branding your hives? Now, I've been thinking for a while that I need some extra security on my hives. Like many bee farmers, I've got a lot of bees in a lot of places, and security is, is always uh, up there. Now, I'm very picky where I put my bees. Security is, is a big part of when I choose apiaries. But I sit there at night some, and, and think sometimes, you know, someone could turn up with a trailer one day to these sites and just take the whole lot uh, or, you know, empty a site. And, uh, you know, that'll be devastating if that ever happened because if something like that does happen, it's, it's, it'll be, have to be a beekeeper that's kitted up to do it. And, you know, there's no worse crime than when a farmer steals from a farmer or a beekeeper steals from a beekeeper because they know the, the level of work involved in, in, in doing that work. So, you know, what could you physically do, you know, without putting cameras and CCTV up and run extension leads into your apiaries, which, which is near impossible to do. Um, and I thought, you know, well, branding your hives is a good place to start. You know, when I was a kid, someone stole your bike. If you had that magic pe uh, pen or paint on the chassis, eventually that'll come up in the system and you'll get your bike back. So, you know, we haven't got that in beekeeping, but we can brand our beehives, stick our name or logo into it, and then forever that is known as your hive. So, you know, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go out and brand everything outside now straight away. But, you know, as Kit leaves the workshop and goes out onto site, they're going to go out with uh, a brand uh, in there. So, you know, it's going to go out Gwyn and Griffith uh, logoed up. And again, I think branding and logo is, is very important to any business. The more stuff you can get your logo, like this hat, onto, you know, the, the more publicity and the you know, the the better marketing uh, that works. So I'm definitely uh, branding my highs for, for two reasons. Security being the number one. And the, the second one then is just, you know, marketing and advertising the fact that those are my highs. Now, that's enough talking. Let's see if this electronic brander does a good job. Uh, first job. I'm going to plug this in. Put it on. Now this is set at 480 degrees. So the guys at Hamilton Rand, they've set that up ready to go. So we just need to wait for that red right in to reach 480. All right, that is up the temperature. Let's give this a go. Mm. 
giving it light pressure, nothing too much. Bit of rock back and forth. See that wood smoking up. That's probably enough. Oh yeah. Look at that. Now that has burnt lovely into the wood. You can see how much is actually burnt down into the wood. So that won't sand off at all. Right, it's perfect. The bee is perfect. I am loving that. Right, but not all wood is going to be fresh like that. Let's test it now on painted wood. Only gone down a few degrees there, so that makes no difference. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Just tell I didn't lean in enough on this side and I've overlent that side. So I've gone really deep in here, but not deep there. So no fault for the brand, that's purely down to me. We'll give that another go, but you can see it's burnt down lovely. Oh, a good two, three mil again. Very, very pleased with this. Very, very pleased. Uh, we're going to go again and get a better job than that. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfect brand. Look at that. Well, look at that. You can see with the color that how pink that is. That's how hot that went. 460 degrees and it's branded those beehives perfectly. Perfect on the fresh wood and perfect on the painted wood as well. So I tell you what, I am well impressed with this and I'm very, very, very happy with the result. My logo is not the easiest to burn into a design. You know, lots of school lines, especially the name on the bottom. But I'm pretty sure you'd agree that has done an absolutely outstanding job and for being electric as well. Normally, you'd have to have some kind of heat, uh, you know, from a flame to heat that brass up that quick and fast. But doing that like this with electric, very, very safe in here. You know, I'm wearing my overalls. This is not fire uh, proof, but this is a denim. So it's, you know, naturally uh, resistant to um, heat and fire. So, you know, make sure you, you dress appropriately. Don't wear thin plastic, flammable material to do this job. Now, looking at that, that reminds me of dehorning calves, but without the smell of burning hair. So that's it. That's what I'm going to be doing uh, as I'm building boxes and they're going out. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to paint the, the boxes first and then I'm going to brand after. I think that looking how, how good that did the job uh, on the painted one there, I think that's the, the best way forward for me. Anyway, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think branding beehives is a good idea? Do you like this brand? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.